One end of the magnetic trip line is attached to the crown of the anchor using a shackle that is supplied as part of the system. Then, as the anchor is let out over the bow roller, uh, the magnetic trip line is also let out and automatically attaches itself both to the shank of the anchor and also to the anchor chain as it is paid out. The magnetic trip line is 20 metres long. If you need to let out more than 20 metres of chain, then the free end of the trip line can be simply attached to the anchor chain using the shackle provided. And then that goes out overboard with the rest of the chain as more is paid out. If your anchor fouls on a submerged obstacle, then pulling on the anchor chain will not free it. In this case, what we can do is pull the magnetic trip line free from the anchor chain and the anchor shank, and then this allows us to pull on the anchor from the opposite direction and then get it free of the obstacle. Extra care needs to be taken in coiling the trip line because of the magnets. However, as long as this care is taken, then coiling the line is no more difficult in fact, in many ways, it's easier than coiling a conventional line. The trick is to bring each magnet up to the previous magnet in the coil. And in this way, all the magnets join together at the top of the coil to form a very neat bundle. So that's the coil complete.